are here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 3 Lesson 4 homework. So let's get started. Number one, use number bonds to help you skip count by six by either making a 10 or adding to the ones. All right, so let's get started. A, we have six plus six, and they broke apart the six because we know it's easier to add when we have like a 10. So we know there's only, we need four more to get that six to a 10. So they broke apart one of the sixes into four and that gives them two left. So they combine the six and the four. Six plus four is 10, so they got 10. And we can't forget about the two here. So 10 plus two is 12. So six plus six is 12. All right, B, 12 plus six. Um, so it's easier to add by tens um, with like a 10. So they broke 12 into 10 and then two. So now we have a 10 here, so we can add out 10 easily. With six plus two is eight, and then plus the 10, so that's 18. And C, um, 18 only needs two more to get to the next 10. So I broke six apart into two and four. If we combine 18 and two, we get 20 plus the four is 24. So 18 plus six is 24. All right, and D, 24 plus six. So 24 plus six, we broke it apart to make a next 10 with six. Four plus six is 10, so I group them together. So now we have 10 plus 20, which is 30. All right, E, we have 30 plus 6. That's pretty straightforward. It's just 36. And F, all right, F, we have 36 plus 6. You know, 36 only needs 4 more to get to the next 10. So I broke apart the 6 into 4, and that gives us 2 left over. So we combine these two numbers. 36 plus 4 is 40 plus the 2 is 42. So 36 plus 6 is 42. All right, and now G, we have 42 plus six. So let's see, we can break the 42 apart into 40 and two. So there we go, we have a 10 there to add. So now we have 40, we can combine these two numbers. Plus six plus two is eight. 40 plus eight is 48. So 42 plus six is 48. All right, H, we have 48 plus six. We know 48 only needs two more to get to the next 10, so we can borrow two from six. That'll give us four left over. So we combine 48 and two, that'll give us 50 plus the four, which is 54. So 48 plus six is 54. All right, and I, 54 plus six. All right, so 54, break it apart, four and 50. We already have 50 right here. But four and six combined make 10. So then we have 10 plus 50, which is 60. So 54 plus six is 60. All right, next page. So number two, count by six to fill in the blanks below. So six, we're counting by six, we're moving forward by six. So six and the next one will be 12 because six plus six is 12. And then now the next number, we do 12 plus 6, which is 18. And after that, we have 24 and then 30. Now it says, complete the multiplication equation that represents the final number in your count by. So our final number is 30, has our biggest number. So then 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Now it says, complete the division equation that represents your count by. Well, we have 30 divided by 6, because we're counting by 6, and that gives us 5. Our right, number 3, count by 6 to fill in the blanks below. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is the same thing as, the, um, these two are, like, identical. So, I don't know if this is just, like, a printing error or something. Or maybe they just want us to practice it one more time. So let's just rewrite it. All right, so 6, and now we have 12, 18, 
24 and then oh, 24 and then 30 but actually it's not the same thing it's only 30 plus 6 more that's 36 so actually this is kind of identical but we added one more number so now complete the multiplication complete the multiplication equation that presents the final number in your count by. So now instead of 30, our final number is 36. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's our sixth number. So 6 times 6 equals 36. And now complete the division equation. We have 36 divided by 6, which is 6. All right, and number four, our final problem. Count by six to solve 40 divided by six. Show we work below. All right, well, six, and then here plus 12, plus six is 12, 18, 24, 30, plus six is 36, plus six is 42, and then plus six one more time is 48. So we have 48 here. 48, so now we have 48 divided by six equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our eighth number. So this is our answer. We can also write eight times six equals 48. So it matches up. So that's our answer. For eight divided by six equals eight. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time, bye.